Um, I have to start with the most important thing right up front. Um, were you in charge of picking the junket location or was it just um, because it's, we're at Xavier High School? Uh. <laughs> yes, um, I have done a junket here once before and that was for an X-Men movie and there was a connection because of the name of the school. Uh, but also it has a beautiful interior, as you can see. Um, so, no, I do live in Brooklyn, so uh, it was much, much easier doing a New York junket than an L.A. junket, for example. Completely. Um, I want to start by saying, well, the next thing is, I really enjoyed this movie. It's so well done. I'm curious uh, if Joe asked you prior to filming to maybe like watch any movies to sort of get you familiar with the tone he was oh. looking for. Well, um, I, I did some research, like I've read a few books, um, and I watched Excalibur that Sir Patrick is in. <laughs> but um, there weren't, because this is sort of different to any previous Arthurian legend like take. So we didn't have any films to watch that were quite similar mm -hmm. to this, like, take on it. Yeah, I agree with Louis. I was always a big fan of um, the Disney adaptation of The Sword in the Stone. So I already knew roughly what Arthurian legend would be like, but for me, I'm already at a disadvantage because Sir Kay is <laughs> a man and I'm a female. Lady so, K now. yeah, Lady Kay now. So I did have to kind of separate myself from the original legend, but for me, that was better because you know, we're making something completely different, completely new, so. Did you watch anything? Um, uh, I, I did, uh, I had watched Excalibur, um, because that was the first uh, large-scale movie that I was ever in, that was 1980. Um, and uh, uh, I, I, I wanted to see what themes in that movie would overlap with the themes in jo of Joe's script. And there were actually quite a few, um, although I think uh, Excalibur was a little bit more harsh, perhaps, <laughs> than, uh, than uh, uh, Kidder would be king. Uh, perhaps. Uh, uh, I, Joe has a real eye for casting, and he's the one who brought John Boyega to the screen and attacked the block. When you find out you're going to be in a movie like this, where he clearly has an eye for casting, uh, what's that reaction like? And you know what I mean? Because it's a really big deal. I mean, when you get a role like this, and, and, and Joe said to us, you know, like, thousands of kids auditioned for these parts, you just feel so thankful and grateful and privileged to have this opportunity that other kids wouldn't have had. Yeah, but you also have to give the credit to yourself when you think yeah. about it, you're just like, wow, I, yeah, I like did that. Up. So, yeah, it's just, yeah, really grateful, really thankful. Yeah, you might get a career out of this. We'll, well see. <laughs> I, I think it's marvelous what Rihanna just said, that, that she's talking about this experience, but that experience can then be connected to so many other aspects of life and school and playtime and work and so forth. And, and that you can articulate it so well is great. Uh, for each of you, I'm curious about memorable moments from filming. What's like a day or two that you will always remember? Um, well, one moment that I remember was when we were doing the sword fighting against the trees. And that was when uh, the Knights of the Round Table learn how to sword fight. And I mean, I mean, that was actually the first thing that we shot. Yeah. And uh, that, was, that, was, that was fun. Yeah, it was, it was fun. I think for me, it was when we were in Cornwall and we were on the moors and we were on the horses <laughs> and it rained yeah. for the whole time we were shooting. We were just <laughs> drenched in it. But then we had a real sunset, I believe, in the background. So we looked so cool. Our armor was glistening. Even though we were so wet, the horses were wet and aggravated. But Joe was like, this looks so good. You don't yeah. understand. So that was cool to be a part of something like that. D I thought your question applied to any movies that one had been in. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll take I'll take an answer, but yes. Well, I'll take I'll take two instances. And it's it's to do with people I worked with who I never thought I would work with. Right at the very beginning of my career, I did one whole day's work with Rod Steiger. The two of us sitting in the back of a car, and he was one of my heroes, and I could not believe that I was sharing a, a camera with him. And the other was Alec Guinness, Sir Alec Guinness, um, another great actor, and I did two days work with him, separated by like five years, I think. And um, I would not have exchanged those experiences for anything.